There we go. It's always a guessing game trying to figure out where that button is to turn the lights on because it's under the skirt button. We got it. What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. If you've been here before, thanks for tuning in to yet another video and if you're new here, please get down there and hit subscribe so you don't miss out on any future videos. Say something. I made slushy, slushy again. So Melanie made her little plushy toy a Christmas gift. Show us what you made him. My cousin made this, then I did the half to this color. What is that? Oh, you drew him on a mask? No, my cousin did. Oh. Ah. So we are in between Melanie's classes right now. So I wanted to show you guys some of the stuff that I have bought over the past couple days. Bunch of stuff. So let's open it up and let's talk plans. So in these identical packages, we have some royal purple synthetic oil socks basically royal purple was having a promotion where if you bought one of these cans of max boost which is like octane booster for your gas um, you had to go buy it at o'reilly's and fill out a form online they sent you a pair of socks for free so me and emily bought two so i got a pair and she got a pair I don't know if that promotion is still going on. Um, I found out about it during the last round of FD. I was watching it and I saw the commercial. So I went to O'Reilly's the very next day, picked up two cans and you have to put different addresses. So I got mine under my name, my address, and then I got Emily's under her name and her parents' address. So we just went to go pick up the socks over there. So that's that. Um, I do want to make like a little video on these uh, just to see how either well or bad the car runs with this. I remember back in the day I had a friend who put one in his gas tank and it was misfiring like crazy but only when it was idling and then when he would get on it like it actually felt a little bit faster um, but like I said it was misfiring when it was idling. So on to more clothes I guess so I got these two new shirts um, from IAG they were having like a crazy Black Friday sale so these shirts were like $11 a piece um, this one has a race car over here with the Christmas tree on top so this is like a Christmas shirt so I need to get on it and start wearing this shirt this one I can wear anytime I want. So I got those two and I also got some fuel rails. Basically, I bought these fuel rails because I am going to be building the 257 that I have in the garage that's going in the blue car. So I needed fuel rails. IAG, if you guys didn't know, does have like a in their clearance section. They have blemished parts that I guess from CNC aren't completely perfect. So they basically sell it at a discounted price they have levels to like how bad or good they are basically i've seen some i think the categories are like b0 so like b05 i think i've seen um are i guess not that good then there's b07 um, b09 and then i've also seen b10 so this is a b10 originally they marked these down like $30 I believe below like normal price and they had their Black Friday sale on top of like the low price of these so I got these and you can see the only problem with this is this little blemish right here that doesn't bother me at all other than that this thing is perfect I also got these because I want to make an injector tester and basically I needed an extra fuel rail so I'm gonna be using these for that before I even throw them on the car. Um, I'm only gonna be running like car cleaner in here anyway, so it's nothing bad for the fuel rail. But yeah, I had to get prepared, so I bought these because they're a good price. I was gonna use them for this, and then I'm gonna throw them on the motor. So these are some other things that I've bought for the fuel injector tester. I got some hose barb uh, 90 degree elbows here. I have a pressure gauge right here, as you can see. I got some hose, 
I got an adapter here. The only thing I'm waiting on is some AN fittings for the lines to finish it all. Those are on the way. They should be here soon. So we should get building soon. I have basically gonna make it either out of wood or some like fancy little PVC that I have laying around the garage. So we should get started on that hopefully sometime next week. So keep an eye out for that. So that's that. And last but not least for now, I got myself a plastic welder. So I got this plastic welder because I am going to be switching up the front bumper on the coupe and I'm gonna need this because it's not a GC bumper. I didn't wanna say it, but not many people are watching the vlogs and it's understandable because it's not too car related and this is a car channel. So I'm gonna spill the beans right now. I am putting a bug eye bumper on the coupe. So I'll be doing that. I don't know exactly when, um, with this plastic welder, I have everything I need so I can do it whenever. Um, I have the bumper in the garage, so it's just a matter of when I do it. But yeah, I'll be throwing on a bug eye bumper and I think it's gonna look sick. So that's that, I'm gonna go throw on this shirt and then let's go do some car stuff. All right, new shirt is on. One thing that really bugs me about the coupe is how I have Pre facelift headlights on both sides and a facelift grill. So that's why this grill just pops out all the time. Sometimes I drop it. I'm thankful that I haven't ran it over because, like I said, I drop it all the time. So let's get these switched out. So I have these two facelift headlights here. One thing that bugs me is that they are the fluted ones. So they have all like the old school looking lines. They're not the crystal ones like on the blue Subaru. I think in the future, I'm gonna go with probably some plastic headlights, just because they're cheaper and obviously it's a bucket. We don't wanna spend too much money on it. These, I'm gonna throw these on because I got these at the junkyard for $20 a piece. So it's not like I spent that much on them. So I have one that is OEM. As you can see, it says Subaru right there. And then I have the passenger side. This one is a depot headlight. And I was like, whatever, it's the same thing. But right now, while I'm looking at it, I noticed that it's missing this tab right here. And that's where the grill goes into. So it's only gonna have three mounting points, the two bottom ones, and then the right side, because the left side is broken. Kind of upsets me that I didn't notice that when I first got it, but whatever. It's gonna have three mounting points and it shouldn't go anywhere. But enough chit chat, let's get these things mounted up. All right, so I got them both ready to go in. I threw these cool little LED lights in here that I had laying around, and I had to cut this uh, like gasket or grommet or whatever. Uh, I just cut like the, the thinnest part out. So I cut that out, and now it goes perfectly around the LED. And I also cut a slot right here on this one to be able to fish the cable through. On this one, it just fit right through without having to trim this part or cut a slit in this. So got them all on there now. Let's go throw them on. All right, so I went to go install this headlight and I went to go put in this bolt. Turns out they are both broken in there. I don't know if you guys can see that, but this is all that came out out of one. The other one wasn't even there. So I guess I have to drill those out and fix the threads. Then I can put some new 
bolts in there. But now this grill should go in and stay in. Let's see. In there, in there. We have to push it down a little bit. There we go. There we go. Perfect. Let's go ahead and close the hood. I don't like these things. They are cheap. They already started to rust. I think I'm gonna get some arrow catch for these. That's the one thing I will spend the money on because like I said, these cheap ones just aren't cutting it. But man, look at that. She's looking nice now. She's got the right headlights to go with the grill so the grill isn't popped out. Sits nice and flush. Got the LEDs thrown in there and I'm sure they're gonna look pretty freaking nice at night. So I'm gonna wait for the sun to come down and then I'll show you guys how they look. All right guys, so as you can see, these lights are super bright. And I'm kind of screaming right now because I don't know if you can hear me, but look at that. These things shine so much. They used to be on the blue Subaru and I ran them for like about a month and everyone would shine their high beams at me when these aren't even the high beams. Like these have high beams so they get even brighter. So got tired of people doing that I figured I was blinding people so I might as well be a good person so I took them out this car is not gonna see the road that much so it doesn't really matter on this car I like them and you see them blinking because I think the battery is giving out or alternator or something but something's not right so but we're gonna go ahead and cut it off all right so we are going all over town because we suck at being adults and we wait for the very last day to do our car payment so we basically have our loan through a bank which isn't the one we use for banking so we have to go to our normal bank that we use for banking take out the money from there and then go deposit it in this bank that we're going to now and then I have to get on my phone and do the payment so it's a hassle every single month and i guess that's why we get so lazy to do all this <laughs> i wish it was easier but it's not so that's what we're doing right now and then what are we doing after that going back home yeah we should have been going to sears but emily is slacking on that so whatever i'm not in the mood to go it's too cold out i guess we'll be going home because we have to eat dinner and our favorite show ever, uh, AKA the challenge on MTV starts today. So early too, I obviously ate. we can't miss it. So let's do this payment real quick and we'll catch you guys when we're home. All right, so we all just ate. Kinda. We all eat different things. Mm -hmm. um, and now we're watching our favorite show. So we're gonna end it off here. Right? Mm -hmm. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. And as always, keep moving forward and stay on the gas. <laughs> Melanie didn't come Where through. Where is she? Yeah. You don't wanna say stay on the gas? No.